Yeah, quick lesson. Quick lesson. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Right? Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Right? So, a uh, quick lesson. Title this lesson, you know. Esau's being exposed, man. You know what I mean? Right? But, uh, I was about to go on another lesson. And uh, I got this alert. Right? And uh, basically, uh, this TV hostess, she was terrible apology after saying her black co-anchor looks like a gorilla. So basically, in a nutshell, I got this alert about 50 minutes ago. Uh, in a nutshell, the lady on the right was apologizing to the, 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 the man on the, on the left, right? So the eye test tells you here, right here, the lady on the left, I eat a mite. The, the man on the left. Uh, Salakia, the lady on the right, Anidamite, the man on the, the man on the left, right, is a, a Jake, based on an eye test, right? So, TV host issues tearful apology after seeing her black co-anchor looks like a gorilla, right? In a tearful segment that aired on Oklahoma City's KOCO TV, morning anchor Alex Houston apologized to her co-anchor, Jason Hackett, after comparing him to a gorilla during a broadcast on Thursday, right? The racist comment occurred after the pair reported on a story about a gorilla at the Oklahoma City Zoo. Who's then ended the segment with the comment, kind of looks like you, directed at Hackett. He kind of does, actually, yeah? Hackett has intently responded, right? So, yeah, I watched the segment. It's a quick 40-second clip, and uh, she, uh, she was crying, apologizing and crying on live television, man, you know? You guys can look it up yourself and, and watch it. But she, yeah, she crying, you know. And um, some precepts came to my mind. You know what I mean? Her crying brought the precept that came to my mind was uh, the precept in Hebrews, Hebrews twelve, verse sixteen. Hebrews twelve, verse sixteen. And seventeen, verse sixteen. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Right? And that's Esau, man. That's who they be, man. You know what I mean? So she gets she gets she gets called out, she gets busted, you know. The tears are coming, man. Crying. You know what I mean? Crying. But that's who they are, man. You know what I mean? But the horns, the horns are coming out. Right? The horns are coming out. And they're showing the true nature, man. This next precept is in uh, Jeremiah 49. Jeremiah 49, verse 10. Right? But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. Right? We see that right now, man. They're getting exposed and they can't hide, man. Live television apologies, right? In tears, right? His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors. And he is not. Right? Right? Esau see the spoil, man. They're crooked. You know what I mean? They're crooked. Right? Right? Jeremiah 49, verse 16. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart. O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, Though thou shouldest bake thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? So we see this happening. It's playing out, man. You know what I mean? They high up there, man. High as the eagle, man. They're the top. They're, they're the pride, the, 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 the top of the world, man. Top of the food chain, right? Right? And because uh, uh, they've been deceived by their, wicked, by their wickedness, by their acts of terribleness and their wickedness, man. Right? They've been deceived to think that, you know, Nothing can't touch. Nothing can't touch them, right? Right. But it says, "Emosai, Emosai, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will bring them down, man." You know what I mean? 
will bring them down, right? Let's go to Malachi 1 verse 4. You know, we all know this. We all know this scripture, this precept. Malachi 1 verse, verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, hath ignigation forever. Right? So the Most High, the Most High power, the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, has, has indignation against Edom, Esau, forever, man. You know what I mean? And he says, he says, you know, as much as they, you know, in these last days, as much as they built, as much as they, as, as much as they, as, as much as they build up, he's going to bring them down low, man. You know what I mean? Right? We'll close out with a quick one. Close out with this last one. Romans 9, verse 13. Romans 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Esau's being exposed, man. You know what I mean? And they're exposing themselves as well. You know what I'm saying? You know? Their, their true nature is coming forth. You know what I mean? I pray this was edifying. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Right? By Shem Raka Kadash. Right? Double honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslim who taught me this truth in its entirety according to the Bible. Peace and salutations to the Aki out there pushing this truth all over the earth. Shalom.